All right guys, your 3D model is ready to be texture painted. How do you go about doing that inside of Blender? So step one, you wanna select your model and change the UI from layout to UV editing. And quickly you're gonna notice our viewport is now divided into two separate sections. On the left, we have the 2D grid and on the right, we have our 3D character, but we're now inside of edit mode instead of object mode. Now, what are UVs? UVs are basically, to sum it up, it's the outer layer of your model so it's the surface so if you see my character here um, in the 3d viewport on the left side you see the 2d representation laid out so we have the face here to match the face so if i drag and select over this area only the face is going to be selected and if you don't have uvs that's fine we're going to do a quick and dirty version just so you can understand that they need to be done in order for you to texture paint now this isn't a tutorial on layout or UV, so we're not gonna to touch it too in depth. Just know that they need to be done in order for you to texture on them. So on the right, let's deselect our character by selecting off of the model and press A to select all. And you can press U to bring up the UV mapping um, menus and options. Go to Smart UV Project and press OK, and the computer's gonna generate a quick and dirty um, UV layout of your model. Now, in order for us to texture on this, we need to go to the top and select new. And you can name this something unique so you know what it is. So mine's going to be uh, character underscore texture. And here, if you want to change the aspect ratio of your layout, you can. And um, I will do that just for the sake of the tutorial so you guys can see. Uh, we're going to change it from 1K to 2048, which are uh, 2K textures and press OK, and now we're gonna have a black overlay around our uh, UV uh, zero to one space here. And you can middle mouse scroll to zoom in and zoom out. Now, next thing we wanna do is change the UI from UV editing to texture paint. And this looks similar to the UV editing layout in the fact that it's divided into two on the left, we have our grid. On the right, we have our character. But now we see our character is purple. And he's purple slash pink, depending on the settings of your monitor, um, because he's missing a material. Now, we want to bring up that texture that we uh, created in the uh, UV editing side, which is that black overlay. And you can do that by pressing this drop down here and selecting character textures. And that's why uh, naming things accordingly helps you keep your projects organized as well. Now, we need to add a material to our character. So let's hit this uh, material properties button here and press new. And now we want to um, assign this texture sheet to our material. So we'll go to base color, select this yellow dot here and go into image texture. And once we added that, we need to hit this drop down. And this is the same exact icon that we used here for the character uh, textures. So if we select the drop down, we can select the character textures here. And now our character now matches whatever's displayed on the left side. And one thing to notice is we don't have our menus pulled up. So if you press N on the keyboard, it's gonna bring up uh, the tools so we can start painting this and adding more attributes that we can't see otherwise. So let's press and choose a color that's more fitting for our object. And we can start to paint on our character. And notice whatever we do here is reflected on the 2D side as well. So I'm going to control Z to go back and uh, go over a couple of these menus and icons here on the left side. So if we wanted to basically create symmetry and whatever we do to one side of the model happens to the other half, we can go down to the bottom of this menu and go to symmetry and choose the axes that we want to mirror. So if I draw on the left arm, it's gonna be on the right side as well, of the character. Our left leg, same thing. So let's control Z and go back. Say we wanna fill this character in to be one solid color, we can go over here to where it says fill and choose our color that we want and just left click once and there you go. We have our entire character one color. Now let's say if we wanted to add maybe shorts or clothing 
uh, and paint that in on the character. How do we go about doing that? We can use this mask tool here at the top and press tab to enter edit mode. I'm going to press one to go into the front view and I'm going to press alt Z to bring us into x-ray mode. I'm going to drag and select a specific section that I want to be uh, for the shorts. Once I have that selected, I'm going to press tab to go back to the object letter, uh, layer and uh, grab a material. So I'll grab maybe a color that's closer to blue and I can just click and fill this in since we are in fill mode and I want to exit out of this. So I'm going to press tab deselect by just clicking anywhere outside of the character. I'm going to press tab to go back into this layer and I'm going to just invert this mask. So press control I to invert the selection. I'm going to press alt Z to get out of x-ray mode. And now we can go over a couple of other um, icons here. So we have this one that's called soften right underneath the paintbrush. If we middle mouse scroll in to zoom in, if we start to click this, you can see that it's now softening up and blending between the two uh, separations. So instead of, having, instead of having that harsh edge, it's now um, you know softer and smoother. And you can see very clearly here that this is sharp. But if you want to blur it in, that's what that does. Now smear, what this does is it drags a value around the character or your model. So if I check, check the um, skin here and just drag down, it's going to drag that down. And if I select on the blue side here, drag up, it's going to do the same thing, vice versa. Um, the clone brush brush, I don't usually use too much, so we're not going to go over that. Uh, the fill, we went over this. And the mask is the exact same thing as it is here. So we don't need to go over that. So um, that's a rough run through of how to texture your, your character. But there's a couple other things that you just need to be aware of. So if we change the um, UI from texture paint back to layout, you see that we can't see our materials here. And that's because we're in the, the viewport shading. So if we change it to this shade mode, you can see it a lot better. Or if you go to the renderer, you can see it even better. So let's set up some lighting really quick because lighting is the majority of a great model. So we have this character here. He looks great. Um, if we select him, we can go to the material properties and see we have a couple more options that we weren't really able to see in the texture side. So if we want to add subsurface scatter, we can do that. And that's just how the skin looks more realistic versus this plastic a light brown color here. So we can add subsurface to it. And this allows the, the the light to be absorbed more. That's what gives that realistic look. And you can change the subsurface color here to something closer like this. And if you up the subsurface scatter, you can see what this does a little bit more. See, it turns into like a waxy type of a color. So if you set up a good lighting, this can look like A1. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick texture paint tutorial. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, comment, share, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.